I explore these three beaches so you know where to spend your weekend relaxing in paradise. What is up everyone? This is South Beach in Pelican Bay four months after Hurricane Ian has struck. Currently, South Beach's restaurant is temporarily closed until further notice. They are building as you can see. Golf carts and trams are also running. Everything's running like usual except the restaurant. Even though the restaurant is closed, coffee is still available in the mornings. Concession stand doesn't have all its normal food like it used to, like burgers and etc. They have more pre made meals for you, but at least it's something. You probably saw the signs that said beware of glass and other debris that might be still in the sand in the water and that is true although the beaches that i am going to show you in this video like pelican bay south beach which is a private beach they have been mostly cleared of all debris and are pretty much safe to walk around and have fun everything's pretty back to normal on pelican bay south beach with chair service and kayak rentals This is another one of the beaches that are currently open in Naples, Florida. I got here on my GoTrack scooter. I'll leave the link in the description. This thing's a beast and super fun to use. This beach right here is called Vanderbilt Beach. And like I was saying about Pelican Bay South Beach, all the debris and glass have been cleaned up pretty well. So you don't really have to worry about getting cut or anything. Right now, I'm heading to Clam Pass Beach, which some of you guys might know Naples Grand is connected right to it, that big building off in the distance. So let's go check it out. So what that sign was saying is that the restrooms on the beach are currently closed and not able to be used. So that big building, I was, that big kind of cart looking thing, that's where you go to the bathroom before you head to the beach. The trams are working to get on and off the beach. I'm gonna walk it and do a quick fast pace video to show If you were to head out to Clam Pass Beach, the hotel that I was showing you initially while I was driving here on my scooter is super awesome, super pretty inside, awesome amenities, and is definitely the perfect place for you to spend time with your family on the weekend.
if you were to stay at Naples Grand Hotel, there is a gate that connects over to this burb boardwalk that you can hop on and walk in the mornings from 8 a.m. to sunset. Everyone out here you meet in Florida is always super happy, super kind. It's just a good vibe out here. And if you haven't visited Florida, you definitely need to because beaches are opening back up, Florida's coming back. If you were planning to ride your bike or something electric or anything, you cannot ride it on this boardwalk because it is only golf carts for the trams to like go in and out to make it super easy to transport everyone. Like when I was saying initially that the bathrooms are still close out on the beach like you can see right there from the storm. They still have chairs and everything for you to sit and watch the sunrise slash sunset. This is the restaurant. They don't have as much as they used to. I'm not sure of the menu that they have. If, if they have pre-made stuff still or real food they're cooking. It's early in the morning, so nothing's really open right now. But they still have chair service. Over there, if you can see in the distance, there's a building. That's actually Pelican Bay South Beach. All you have to do is cross the little river that is going in between both beaches, and then you'd be at Clam Pass. Another one of the beaches that I'm going to show you today is Gulf Shore Beach Access. This is another beach that is open for the public. Again, it's mostly clear of debris and a bunch of dangerous stuff. Still construction going on in this condo building. Definitely on top of one of the prettiest beaches out in Naples, Florida, in my opinion. So that was three beaches in Naples, Florida that are currently open for you to visit when you come down to Florida. Or if you live in Florida and you don't know what's open yet, so this video is probably very helpful for you. If you guys like this video, go drop a like down below. Go subscribe to the channel if you want to see more adventures up in Florida and more updates about Southwest Florida and all the cool things there is to see and visit.